Okay, I'm running out of juice, you guys. 3M, last one, analyzing payments by supplier. Um, the exercise is asking us to analyze payments by supplier to identify large movements. So we're going to see what it was um, the typical um, authorization from the past year. And then we're going to see anything that moved beyond 25% of the uh, of the total payments um, that were done the, the year before. So let's go ahead and start by following the instructions. Ba -ba -ba -bum. So let's do 3M. And I feel like this probably would have been better explained by the previous video, but it's no problem. Let's go ahead and keep this open. And I'm going to open this. Let me close the unauthorized payment. Let me get rid of the criteria um, by clearing it right there and then. Um, so I'm looking at the supplier verification database um, and I'm going to summarize, summarize this by doing a quick summarization. Did I do a quick summarization? No, I did not. So let's go ahead and select that again. Where's my summarization? All right, so and then let's, let's do supplier number. And the fields to summarize area, we're gonna use the supplier number field. In the numeric fields to total, select the amount field. We're gonna select the amount field, do not select total previous years. We're just gonna select this. Click fields and select the following fields to be included. Just pay name, supplier name, and the total previous year. Right. So we're gonna summarize it and then we're gonna add those particular items. All right, press okay. Uh, click OK, accept the option to create the database, right? And But do not create the results. Perfect. Uh, do not enter any criteria for the test because we're going to just grab all of them. Enter the file name as payments by supplier. And then we're going to press OK. So we are doing the sum of the amount. And then we're going to compare it with the previous year records. View the resultants database and note the number of records field. All right, let's find out. So number of records field, pay supplier. So there's this drug stuff. Again, this is uh, an, an interesting amount. Um, we will go by the amount sum sorted in descending order. Definitely this is not the same as the previous year. Um, but let's go ahead and, and, and do this differently by, by um, making sure we do a filter of only those that, only those transactions, only those records that are beyond 25%, because this is going to be hard to calculate once we start getting further. So how do we do this? We look at this and say, cha-cha-cha out of the 49. Right, let's do a direct extract. Um, you can do a direct extract from this subset by calling this a, what are we gonna call this? We're gonna call this um, 25, there is this particular name, we're gonna call this investigate further. So let's call this investigate or um, Due to high movement. All right, and the criteria, I'm just going to copy paste what's on the book, which is the absolute value of the amount of the sum of the amount for this year payments minus the total previous year. We'll multiply that by 100 and divide it by total previous year to see if it's more than 25%. Or we could have done this without this and just said greater than 0.25. But okay, so we're taking the difference between this year and last year and, and dividing it by the total previous year to see if it's more than 25%. Let's validate this and see if it, if it works. Um, 
once we do that extraction, let me make sure that I'm also uh, looking at the fields. I'm looking at all the fields. All right, press OK. Oh, we're going to add the following fields. Boom, create fields. We're going to do a field name called test. And it's going to be a multi, multi, multi state with one. Um, no similar. It's going to be yes, no, and a. And then we're going to have a comment uh, out of a comment field. That will be a an editable character um, of a hundred characters, and the parameter will be the, the parameter. Here. So this would be the parameter would be boom, just text additional comments. And the parameter in here is going to be a negative one. So that means that we'll use negative one, one, or zero, right? Um, let's Create OK and the create fields dialog box and then create OK for the extraction. And then I should get the following uh, vendors with numbers that are extraordinary. So dictate uh, was which which was supposed to be one the far has an extraordinary change you know more than five hundred thousand dollars in change from last year to this year this is the same name so it's possible that we have more activity with farmer uh charismatic now has the name of linda hand uh, miles long is now look hair and again look hair keeps coming back with different numbers why this this is this is suspicious as well so there should be 14 supply. There are 14 suppliers totaling. Let's look at the control total. Um, let's look at the amount of sum and see what that is. Let's calculate it. It's about $12 million worth of sales. Uh, the test and the common fields are empty, but these are editable fields that I could actually go in and say, you know what, I would like to test for this or not. So I like to test dictate or maybe say, um, all right, so let's see, investigate reasons. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and do this uh, question, you know, test, and I'm gonna say investigate reason for large increase in payments. Right. I'm going to click on the next one and then I'm going to say the same thing, investigate for reasons. Right. Let me make sure this was done correctly. Um, I don't know about these. I, I may have looked at why these uh, transactions are less and they were properly explained to me so i would be satisfied then i may be satisfied about this mike atzel um so i may click a, a yes on it and then i may put a question mark under ronnie biggs so let me do a question mark um so the history is going to show that i made uh, changes to that and if I go back to the data, this is what we should be print screening. Um, so there's no logic to this. Obviously, if you were in the case, you would know which ones, which one of those um, suppliers you would flag for further analysis, right? But that's basically what this software does. And having done this, we noticed that um, there were things that need to be looked at. Let's start from the beginning. There's a bunch of stuff that's authorized by, by HMV. Uh, so we need to look at this person and see why, why is he authorizing that much more than the rest of them? Why is he in charge? Uh, let's look at the cash payments. There's over 20 transactions that have 
um, the cash word in it. So it sounds like somebody's trying to use cash as uh, an easy way to cash that money out. Zero value payments. Let's look at the zero value payments. Where are they? Um, duplicate payments are here. There are some duplicate payments. Um, there are payments outside. Um, there are dates, payments outside the policy. There's about 70 something, right? 85 dates with no payments. Let's just look at the audit findings here. So with all those, we found that 20 payments had cash in the name. There are five round sum payments of 75,000 with three being potential duplicates. There are zero value payments, which are interesting. There are 399 payments authorized by one person, many above the 20,000 limit applicable in this case. 77 payments were made on a Sunday, and again, are mainly authorized by HMB. Uh, there are five missing checks that we should look at. There are 85 days on which no payments were processed. Are we sure we're completing everything? There were 63 payments that were made within 25 days of the invoice date, which is quicker than the company policy. Why are we favoring those vendors? There are 17 payments that were delayed more than 35 days. Why are we punishing that vendor? Six payments were made before the invoices were entered into the system. That is crazy. So that should be very alarming. And payments were made to a supplier not authorized uh, on the supplier list, those nine records that we found. And the supplier number should be managed to ensure the proper referential integrity and completeness for our database. We should not have um, suppliers that do not have a supplier number, period. And that's it, guys. Let me wrap it up. Go ahead and print the screen for the last one. And we are set. This is it. Just make sure it looks nice. I. Uh, one last thing is to uh, save this, save the records. Uh, you could export the active database, right? Uh, and you can export it as a XML file. Um, you could also save, let me make sure that you're saving this. Uh, let me make sure you close it. You're saving everything. Close all. Let me close this and I'll create another.